Irish cheese fondue, made, of course, with Irish cheese. And uh, this is a cashel cheese. It's kind of like a Stilton. It's hearty as smoked meat, but it's always milky without any intense metallic punch. Uh, that turns off so many uh, people to blue cheese. But it is really, you'll really like it if you um, taste it. And we got this at Murray's Cheese Shop right here in New York City. It's one of the best places to get uh, all kinds of cheeses from all over the world. And it is the first farmstead blue cheese made in Ireland. And fondue, actually in French, means melt. Um, and typically you'd think of fondue as being served in the Alps when you're on a wonderful ski trip. But uh, you can actually eat fondue pretty much anywhere. And uh, I'm going to start first with a half a cup of half and half. You could use um, heavy cream if you'd like. But half and half works very nicely. And three quarters of a cup of Irish lager. We're trying to do everything as, as Irish as we can. And Irish make a very good lager. They don't call it beer. And we're going to turn this up. And into the liquids, oh, and a little tiny pinch of, of salt. Uh, we're going to use eight ounces of the Cashel cheese. Mmm, so great. Quarter of a cup of flour, just so that it thickens nicely. Stir this up. And a half a teaspoon of dry mustard. And one eighth of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Stir this up. It smells very good. I happen to love all kinds of blue cheese, from the French Roquefort to the uh, Danish Blue to now Irish Cashel. And here I'm going to just put this into the cream and lager and stir and stir. And do not walk away from the stove. You do not want scorched fondue. You want to just heat this up, and we have the one that's already done, until it's pretty smooth. And this is a little fondue pot. Pretty smooth, creamy, beautiful, delicious, hot. And this is all done, and we can take this over to our fondue pot stand, which is, this is typical. Uh, and you see the candle underneath keeps it hot, so uh, because if you take it off the heat, it will thicken so much that you won't be able to dip into it.